Today, I'd like to share with you three tips for changing the layout of content which is produced by Jump Software. Here I have output from one of the most popular platforms within Jump, the distribution platform. And one of the things you learn very quickly in Jump is to work with vertical histograms. It's a strange concept if you're new to Jump, but you can see that it makes very good use of the screen. There is an alternative layout. You can stack information and that stacks the information in rows and it's not so convenient. So this is a good illustration of why we actually have by default vertical histograms. However, if I'm only working with a single variable, then I actually prefer the stacked layout. Particularly if I'm on a laptop or if I want to export this information to PowerPoint or Word. So this is a nice layout in terms of presenting information in a report. So that's the stack. This is my first tip, just using the stack option to quickly transform the layout from the default orientation to horizontal. Okay, this dovetails into my second tip. Let's think about these outlines. The purpose of an outline is to show information or hide information. And when you hide information, you also recover screen space. But now let's look at how this works if I stack the results. Now, if I close the outline, well, we still hide the information, but I don't recover screen space. So one of the things we can do is right click on the outline and you can change the close orientation to be vertical. So this is tip number two, using vertical orientation for the close. So now when we close these, we hide the information, but we also recover space. Now this is general across the Jump user interface. It's to do with outlines. It's not specific to the distribution platform. Let me maybe show you another example. Let me create a control chart. And here I have a control chart and I normally like to have my control chart kind of elongated like so. On the right hand side, you have the limit summaries. I like to hide this information and again, we don't, it doesn't recover any space by doing that. I think that's quite ugly, but you can come to this and you can just change the close orientation to be vertical. So now you hide the information, but you also recover space on the screen. That means I can have this nice and long now. And if I need to, I can just expand it like so. So that's tip number two. My third tip relates specifically to the fit model platform. I need some different data for this. Let me come back to my home window and choose a different data set. And I'm going to just look at the model specification first of all. So what I have here is a specification for a model, but the interesting, the important thing here, I've got three distinct responses. Now, almost always when I model distinct responses, I fit them separately. So now let me run this. And jump creates what's called a fit group. The fit group contains I just close these outlines, you can see I've got output for the three responses. And for each response, you have all of the uh, detailed information for the models, but that gets replicated across all three responses. So this becomes quite uh, an intense level of information and you can sometimes struggle to find your way around. What you can do is come to the top red triangle associated with the fit group and arrange in rows. I've got three models, so I can arrange my three reports horizontally. And now you see, I can quickly see all models simultaneously and you can kind of make comparisons. Maybe I want to look at the summary of fit and just compare the numbers across those three models. Now this behavior changes according to whether or not I've chosen fit separately. So this time I won't choose it. And you'll see now I don't have a fit group. What I just have is least squares fit. And I have an outline for the effect summary. And then I have outlines for the three models. 
But if I come to this red triangle, there's no option to arrange these horizontally. But what I can do is right click on the outline for least squares fit. This is the same place where you find this close orientation, but there's another option here, which is a horizontal layout. And what that does is to give me this layout like so. So now again, I've got columns of information. Now these outlines have been closed by default. Let me just open these up. And again, we can just compare across these models. So it's very easy for me, for example, to compare the summary of fit or for me to come along and maybe say that I want to put a diagnostic plot actual by predicted across all three models and see those and evaluate those models simultaneously. OK, there you have it it's for three very simple tips, different ways of changing the default layouts within Jump. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.